Miss California, Carrie Prejean faced a lot of criticism for opposing gay marriage during the Miss USA pageant. Perez Hilton, who was a judge, had some harsh words for Prejean about a response in the finals. And there's some who allege that she lost the crown because of her views. Now Miss California's back, starring in a new ad from the National Organization for Marriage. A pro-marriage group talks about how gay marriage will impact religious groups. It's no longer palatable in this country or okay to be an outright bigot. They attack if you oppose gay marriage because they don't want to debate the consequences. To read what scholars say about the legal conflicts gay marriage creates, go to nationformarriage.org. Brian Brown is executive director of the National Organization for Marriage, a group opposed to same-sex marriage. And uh, Brian, uh, your ad refers to legal scholars and says same-sex marriage will lead to damaging widespread legal conflicts for small businesses and religious organizations. That's only half of the sentence of their conclusion, isn't it? Well, that's the, that, that's the focus. Doug Laycock, Robin Fretwell, Wilson, people on both sides of the debate agree. Well, let's talk about Doug Laycock because he supports same-sex marriage. And the fact is that in their conclusion, they say without religious accommodation, it will create legal conflicts. You didn't put that religious accommodation in your ad or in your press release. You simply took the last half of your sentence simply to say, oh, this is going to lead to all sorts of problems. It's like saying we your car is going to break down. Unless you fill it with gas and you leave out the unless you fill it with gas. Look, Why look, did you we, do that? We don't need to guess at what the consequences are. We've already seen them. You've seen Catholic Charities Adoption Agency in Massachusetts being put out of business because it couldn't, according to its religious beliefs, place children with same-sex couples. We've seen a New Jersey Methodist Association lose part of its state tax exemption because it wouldn't allow a property that it owned to be used for same-sex civil union ceremonies. The right, because list that's goes discrimination on, and the, the fact is that the there, list there are goes against on and on and on. And the fact is that if you look at the letters, all people need to do is to go to nationformarriage.org. If there's any debate about the consequences, they can read the letters themselves. They're up on our website. Right, but in those letters, Brian, it says that there should be religious accommodation. That's what the legal scholars say. They don't say that gay marriage will simply lead to these consequences. They say it, would, it might lead to those consequences, consequences if there aren't accommodation. And the fact is they support gay marriage. They're saying simply put some accommodation so that if a religious organization wants to have only uh, home heterosexual marriages in a church, that they don't get sued. There's nothing this is, this wrong is with simply, that. This is simply untrue. Joe, Joe Salmanese from the Human Rights Campaign has repeatedly said that when uh, religious organizations enter the public square, if they're, not, if, if they're not willing to do what Joe Salmanese wants them to do, then they should be punished. And the fact is That's that right, the religious... That's right, if you're going to have a religion on the public square as opposed to a church, you cannot discriminate. Here's well, the larger issue, though. Here's the larger issue. Explain how it is that the gay couple or the lesbian couple down the street has any impact on my marriage or on yours. Well, the, the couple themselves don't. The fact that you're redefining marriage as a public good redefines it for everyone, not just that couple. So what is taught in the schools changes. And you just said it. You're basically saying that you're going to limit the religious liberty of a church or church organization because you're going to say they're the equivalent of no, bigots. No, we're going to limit the, their they're, discrimination they're the if they're of bigots used in the public square. In the public That's square. The you're, Brian, saying, you're not listening. You're saying Brian, they're the equivalent the of bigots issue. in here's the public the, square. Here, here's, here's a larger issue, though. Most Americans can't understand why you selectively go after certain parts of the Bible and not others. And that's your prerogative if you want to go after certain parts. There's nothing, again, there's there's nothing no threat, in this ad that the talks about the Bible. The only way the gay or lesbian couple, Brian, could be a threat to my marriage or to yours is if you really fear that maybe somehow they'll get involved in your marriage. I don't fear that. Do you worry the, that maybe, is, I don't know, somehow you're attracted to the gay couple down the street and the, somehow that will affect your marriage? The, the American people are very smart. They overwhelmingly oppose same-sex marriage. They don't buy the arguments that you're putting forward because they understand if you change this great social good that's a nearly human universal, of course there are going to be widespread consequences. Of course there's going to be effects. And the idea that there are And that's aren't, exactly not what the legal scholars say. The legal scholars say there will not be those effects if people simply take pe reasonable can, religious people, accommodation, something you don't put in your press release, something you don't put in your People can decide for themselves and by and going to the website. You can conclude that maybe your decision to sort of selectively edit the legal scholars is based not on logic, because there's no logic to doing that. <laughs> the entire letter is available on the website. The entire letter is available on the website. Website case. at nationformarriage.org. Fine. Brian, it's a pleasure having you on, Thank even you. though we disagree. I appreciate your willingness to Thank come you on and debate much. this. Brian Brown, we appreciate it, from the National Organization for Marriage.